Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see a question today on the topic of differentiation. So if I talk about the question here, question says that there is a function that is of tan x and there is one more another function that is g of sec x. We need to differentiate this function with respect to g. So basically we need to differentiate f of tan x with respect to g of sec x and this has to be differentiated at x is equal to pi by 4. Further they have also told us one more data that f dash of 1 is equal to 2. We have also been told that g dash of root 2 is equal and we need to find the value of differentiation of f of tan x with respect to g of sec x. And there are four options also given to us. Let's note that down. So if I see the first option that is given to me is 1 by root 2. Second option is given to us as root 2. Third option is given to us as 1. And the fourth option says none of this. So this is the question given to us. Let's try to solve this question. So, first of all, if I try to solve this question, I'll take one function, let's say u, that is nothing but a function of tan x, and I'll take another function v, that is, let's say, g of sec x. So, these are the two functions given to me. Now, u can be any function of tan x, I don't know exactly what, but let's differentiate that u with respect to x. So if I differentiate u with respect to x, I would get derivative of the function of tan x, whatever it might be, into further I will have to take the derivative of tan x because I'm assuming tan x to be x. So you get f dash of tan x into derivative of tan x is nothing but sec square x. So this is our du by dx. Now let's try to find out dv by dx also. So we already know v is nothing but a function of g in terms of sec x. Again, I differentiate this with respect to x. I get g of sec x derivative is g dash of sec x. And further, I will be taking the derivative of sec x. That gives me g dash of sec x. Derivative of sec x in this case comes out to become sec x tan. So this is our dv by dx, this is our du by dx, but we have been told that we need to find the derivative of this function with respect to this function. So basically we have been asked du by dv at x equals to pi by 4. So let's try to find that. So if I want to find that du by dv, I will write this as du by dx. This is dv by dx. Now here if I divide this, I get f dash of tan x into sec square x upon g dash of sec x into sec x tan x. What happens here is I can cancel out one sec x. Now let's try to solve this. We need to find the value of this du by dv at x equals to pi by 4. So if I substitute at x equals to pi by 4, let's see that on the other page. So du by dv at x is equal to pi by 4 becomes f dash of tan pi by 4 into sec x is left there. So into sec x or I can write this also as sec of pi by 4 not x and divided by g dash of sec pi by 4 into tan x, so tan of again pi by 4. So we already know now that tan pi by 4, basically that means tan of 45 degree, that is 1. 
and sec pi by 4 also if i talk about that is nothing but inverse of cos pi by 4 so 1 by root 2's reciprocal so that comes out here so if i substitute that we get here f dash of 1 into sec pi by 4 that is already root 2 and here we get that as g dash of root 2 so tan pi by 4 that is 1. now here f dash of 1, we already know the value for that in the question that is given to us. f dash of 1 is 2 and g dash of root 2 is 2. So f dash of 1, if I put here, that is 2, root 2, upon g dash of root 2, that is given to us as 4 into 1. So you get 2 root 2 upon 4. Now what I can do here is I can cancel out this also. 2 1s are 2 2s are. So you are getting again root 2 upon 2, 2 again I can write that as root 2 into root 2, so it's answered, the left as 1 by, so 1 by root 2 is the answer for the question which is given to us, and the option that matches your with the answer is A, so A is the correct answer for the question that is given to us, I hope you have understood how to solve this question. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question from the same series of JW Advanced. I'll take some other question from some other topic. So I'll see you tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JW Advanced. Thank you.